want to feel like they always have like, oh, for such a so your your class will be your what's the You know, I've seen these online. You've seen these online? Or, no, on your blog. Yeah, well, yeah, the yeah. thing is, is that these are all set together. Oh, yeah. Oh, not flat? No. Which is interesting because a lot of the students of all objects are different. When I printed that, when I got, I just let it eat. Came back later, and this was standing there. I was like, <laughs> right, right, yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> cool! Nothing <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right. so What's this? Uh, yes. Is it business? They're $50. It just goes towards my research. Just oh, that. Is, it, is it business? Okay. I'll get you one. Um, yeah, two pieces of business. Two pieces of business. There's a magnet right here and then a magnet right here. What happens is this magnet holds the weight. You can look it out. Of this middle magnet. And then this magnet holds the weight. And then the little magnet is being repelled off this magnet. This one is the second highest diamagnetic material that we made. Carlin and Carter is the other one. You got one? Yeah, that one is increased. It increases the battery probably a little magnet constantly in between here. While this one just holds the weight through the magnetic attraction of that little magnet. It's sitting there close. It's right there. Go look at it. Can I close it? Forever. Yes, for magnet quits. You know what I mean? But the interesting thing is, my wife, I had this I said it, it was balanced really good. Okay, I came back out two weeks later, and the magnet was sitting against the bottom. Who touched that? You know, I want to see how long it would cut. So I adjusted it, because you can adjust these things, you have to do that to get it balanced better. Then I came back about two weeks later, and it was against the top. It's touching this thing. I think it has something to do with the moon cycle. I bet it's that sensitive. Oh, yeah. I 3D printed and made an object that's, that you can measure the moon gravitational pull. It's like, well, that's an eye opener. It's, you know, I have, I have black ones. Oh, um, I have to have cash. I don't have an ATM thing. But we, let me find out if there's an ATM thing in here. Can you get it if they don't? I know, but I don't have any form of, okay. of way to do that. Let me, we can find out if there's an ATM size. If not, I'll be here all day okay. if, you need, if you can find an ATM. And actually, I think there's one at the, across the street. Here, $50? Yes. I want a black one. Okay. You got it. Is that $50? Um, yes. Thank you. And this, this goes towards my research so I can do more fun stuff like that. You know, my son uh, is like an engineer. Okay. Okay. His team uh, built a yeah. as their as their senior project and I know he's gonna love this. The files, this is an open source project. So when you show him his, he can print out those and just make and get the other parts and he can actually construct I want to do that. Yeah. But now, are they adjusted so that when I get it, is it going to be adjusted so that that Yo, I have a document that tells us how to because it's it's kind of what he'll think is how to. That's my website. I'll make sure he knows. Right. And the punchline is, does it make sense? Well, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ryan Cooper. Start mixing. Maybe he was here. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I'll see you tell me. Oh, she's going to come back. Yeah, I think you can come back. I think she's turning it out. Or turning it up. Well, it looks like it could be. She's going to come back. 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 She's going to you go right ahead on sure yeah you won't bother okay. you're fine abstraction of that and this one's done I'm gonna put this one together so you can keep moving um, the instructions are actually kind of there yeah but they're on my website which I gave you that little piece of paper actually it's on the front if he goes there, I actually have like a documentary video of how to build one. And if he wants to build one, he can just get the essential pieces. And he can 3D print the parts. That way he can actually just construct one. And he can just buy just pieces. Okay? So let, let him know. Yeah. You got two, you got two, two, two magnets. The little thing. Yeah, you better. They had more fun building that 3D yeah. thing. Just have to watch so these don't get not, lost. Not really. Yeah. Nothing should fall off. Not even the little You can, no. But this is a very powerful magnet. Yeah. So keep that away from your credit card. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But you can put this in your pocket. You're not going to hurt it. Okay. I promise. All right. It's durable. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. Prices. But what it does is it brings this communication link between people in this little hole. Because there are so many people that I've never met that come out of the cracks to try to either win a prize or just get involved. I don't know. But those people, then they come to the forums and they get involved there. So we make them post a video at the forum. So now they're a user of the forum. Now they almost have to get involved with you. You know, so it, what, the reason we and do this is it, one of your winners. And it, uh, this is actually, we're going to announce the winners tonight. Me and Zero Busso Fuel Order will make a video. They just ended the competition about three weeks ago. But we had uh, we had like 24 entries into this multiple competition that we just thought was a good idea at one time. And now, and now, yeah, and so, yeah, and so it opens up the ideas of people's minds. It's like, hey, I tell people, I said, you know, if you can get a, you can take a coil out of something, get yourself a VCR head, and just glue some magnets on it, just make something spin. That's a pulse cool motor, and that gets people like intrigued and doing things or involved. And that's the reason we did it. But you know, it started out as like a just for fun idea, and it turned into this fantastic idea. That's have you ever met, measured energy in versus energy out? Not on any, not on any of the ones I've constructed. I actually have never been to my face like that. This, this box over here, this is called pulse fire. You can set up a laptop so you can actually see. And what this does, this one, this runs off my Arduino. I have to mention this part again. I just still cannot fathom the only electronics is this little bitty tiny microcontroller. It's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> this runs off the same type of thing. Yeah, this runs off the same type of thing this does. There's a, a software that I'm trying to get out there. It's called Pulse Fire. But yeah, it's kind of started something, you know, just the idea out there. And he happened to have something started. And so he just incorporated in what I wanted to his already good software. Two push buttons, two turtles, and an LCD screen. So he made a full blown do that. But when he did that, I asked him, can we do that along with this too? Oh, he learned Pepinitz keyboard for another year. And now this whole thing does data logging, pulsing, without pulse sequencing, you can do different trains, you can actually do interlocking. It's just, it's amazing. It all runs on that single one that he has. It's a project. It's out there. What I did, I took this box that I used for many different projects, 